assalamu alaikum in this lecture we are going to study the nominal pi method of uh, medium line transmission line modeling in this method we are using the capacitance in two parts at the sending end which is c by 2 and also at the receiving end which is equal to c by 2 as well and the impedance of the line is not divided into any parts so we have a lumped parameter for the impedance which is uh, z by 2 and uh, the capacitance is divided into pa two parts and placed at both ends of the transmission line now if we have to write the formulas for the nominal pi method we know that firstly is is equal to ic2 plus il and this il is equal to ic1 plus I R. So I S is equal to I can put this I L value in this equation. I C one plus I C two plus I R. So this is your sending end current equation that you can use in the numerical formulations. And now for the voltage value, we can say that V S, which is this voltage and is also across this capacitance value is equal to I L Z plus V R so this V R voltage is actually across this capacitance as well because this load and this capacitance C by 2 is in parallel so the voltage that is across the load is also appearing across the capacitance value so if we will add vr and the voltage across the line impedance that will give you the vs value which is across which is a voltage across the capacitance at the sending end so now in order to draw the phasor diagram for this nominal pi model of the transmission line first we have to draw the reference which is vr right and then the current that is flowing through the resistance and reactance will have a voltage across this resistance and reactance voltage across the resistance will be this and the voltage across the reactance will be this so in order to calculate the sending and voltage you just have to add these two phases vr and the voltage across the impedance so this is your i l z so this is your sending and voltage now for the currents IR plus IC1 gives you IL and IC1 is in 90 degree direction if you put IC1 here this is your IC1 so IR plus IC1 so head to tail rule applying head to tail rule will give you IL value which is equal to this one and again in IL if you will add IC2 in this direction you will get I S this is the phasor representation of nominal pi method now in order to use that in actual numerical questions we are considering one example in which we have a three phase medium transmission line and the length of the line is 150 kilometer and the resistance inductive reactance and the capacitive shunt admittance of the line are 0.1 ohm, 0.5 ohms and 3 into 10 raised to minus 6 Siemens per kilometer per phase respectively. The load of the line is 50 megawatt and the voltage at the receiving end is 110 kilo volt and the power factor is 0.8 lagging. So we have to calculate the sending and voltage as well as sending and current. So we have to calculate Vs and Is. So these values resistance and reactance values are in per kilometer so we have to multiply resistance reactance and shunt admittance with the length of the line that is 150 kilometer. So starting from the basic formulas we will first write the equation for Vs. Vs is equal to ILZ plus the receiving end voltage that is VR. We know the VR value which is equal to 110 divided by under root 3 and this value is 63508 volt the impedance value
is 15 plus 75 J and we do not know the value of I L but from the circuit we know that I L is equal to I C 1 plus I R and the I R value is P delivered over under root 3 V L into power factor P delivered is 50 megawatt and V line is 110k so IR value is 328 into 0.8 minus 0.6j so this is your receiving and current value now for IC1 it is equal to J this capacitance is y by 2 into vr so this is j into 45 into 10 raised to minus 5 divided by 2 into 63.508 k so ic1 value is 14.3 j so we have calculated the IC1 value as well as IR value so IL will become IL is equal to 262.4 minus 196.8 J plus 14.3 J so this is your IR value this is your IC value this will be 262.4 minus 182.5 J So we started from uh, this equation, equation A. We know the value of VR, we know the value of Z. Now we have also calculated the value of IL. So the VS value will be equal to angle 11.7956 volts. Now in order to calculate the sending and current, which was the second portion of the question, IS is equal to IC2 this current plus IL and IC2 is equal to VS J Y by 2 which is 82881 angle 11.7956 45 into 10 raised to minus 5 2 into J so this is the sending and voltage and multiply it by j y by 2 which is this value so this will give you the value of i c 2 which is minus 3.81 plus 18.25 j we already know the value of i l that we calculated here and the addition of i c 2 and i l will give you i s value so that's how you will calculate the sending and current so this was the example related to the pi model of the medium transmission line. Thank you.